Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back with another video. What's up, EWPPG? Eat with Philly Phil Gang. How y'all doing? It's time to eat. Your girl is back. All right, let's bless the food, y'all. Bless this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. How y'all doing? I missed y'all yesterday. I'm telling you, I did. I missed cooking for y'all yesterday. How y'all doing? Everybody doing okay? Your girl doing good. All right. We got us some chicken and no yolk noodles. I use chicken thighs, okay? See that? Some cream of chicken and cream of celery and some cornbread. Didn't cut that well, but it tastes good. I've already tasted it. It tastes good. Some muffins. I got some jungle juice, lemonade. You guys know about that. I thought I'd try the lemonade tonight. Yes, yes, yes. EWPPG, what y'all think about that? Y'all down with EWPPG? <laughs> y'all remember that song from the 80s? Who was your favorite 80s group? Y'all remember Mr. OPP himself, Mr. Trench? Y'all remember that, Naughty by Nature? EWPPG, that's what we are, yes. Okay, guys, this looks good. I forgot to get some heavy whipping cream, but hey, it still looks really good. Let's take a thumbnail. This looks good. One more. All right. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. How did I do? Let's see here. Whoa. Maybe I didn't need it like this, but I wanted the cornbread to be on there too. I like to have Jiffy cornbread mix when I have this, but as I told y'all, they were out. So we made it do what it do. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The cornbread. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, the cornbread with this just takes it up to another level. And I like to just do it like that. Here, have a bite. It's piping hot too, guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I didn't have lunch. I like to put a little hot sauce in it. I don't want to mess up the color of it, but I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. Having a little hot sauce on it just takes it up another notch. Of course, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Let me taste this lemonade. Mmm. Cheers, guys. I hope everyone is safe and sound and all sanitized up, okay? You got everything you need? Eat with Philly Field Gang. Gotta have everything they need. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, here we go. So what did y'all eat last night? I just had a, a uh, sandwich. I just made another sandwich. A pressed ham and cheese sandwich for dinner. That's what I had. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. This does it. Let me put that back in the picture. Yeah. That definitely, it gives it a little bit more flavor, I'm telling you. And these no yolk noodles, you guys ever use these? They're good. I like to put my cornbread on top of the juice. And it's nice and it's not too thick, but it's thick enough. I don't like it to be, you know, watered down. Mm, mm, mm. So you have to let it simmer until it comes together and thicken up. Mm. And those bay leaves, you just need to take those out of there, okay? They just give it flavor. I also forgot, I like to add a little sage. But I forgot, guys. I was hungry. But it still tastes good. That nice thick gravy. You see it? Maybe I should do another thumbnail like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, guys, 
You guys work today? Are you working from home? Are you working? What's going on? Any more curfews? Mm, 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 mm. I forgot the name brand of that cornbread mix I used, but it tastes good. But I think it helped that I add a little bit of that Angel Mama's uh, cornmeal mix to it as well. Mm-hmm. This has a really good flavor. Boy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. I'm hungry. So, guys, I got a lot of comment and feedback <laughs> on me cooking that cabbage and corned beef. I told y'all it was my first time. I had never done that before. No, hey, it was, I know it wasn't as tender as it could have been. I should have cooked it a little longer, but I was hungry and I probably should have just Put it in the crock pot overnight. I know what to do next time. But it was flavorful and really good. So we got to definitely read some of those comments. Good comments. Good tips on how to do it right. <laughs> Look at that cornbread. It's good. Mm -hmm. Nice color. That's parsley on the back of it. I put a little parsley on the plate, you know, try to make it look pretty for you guys. Got another new shirt on, courtesy of Scent and Mo. They got them a new website up now. Yes, honey, that's nice. Just go on the website and order what you want. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. My Puff Puff Gang members, y'all see Waltz collab with Key Cam and the fam? They're from Chicago. I met them when I was in Chicago last year. I told y'all that. I had just started, really, my YouTube channel. I had a couple of hundred subscribers. I don't think I had 300. And they introduced themselves. They had over, they had thousands, a couple of thousands. So they did a uh, collab with Walt. They ate ribs. It was really nice. Did good. Mm. We got to support each other. Hey, it's, it's enough love to go around. Share the love, okay? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Do y'all eat chicken and noodles? I love chicken and dumplings too. I've done those. I'm going to make some more. But this is a quick way to go if you don't want to make homemade dumplings or anything like that. This is really good. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Yes, indeed. You guys, I'm forgetting that. If you want a cake or if you want to order a cake, email me. Thanks to all of you that have already placed an order. I appreciate it. Mmm-mmm-mmm. Mmm-hmm. And look, let me tell y'all something. I know everyone likes to use um, the breast meat for their dumplings and stuff. Don't sleep on chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, Emeril Lagasse said so. They are the tastiest meat for things like this. They're very tasteful. Clean them babies real good, honey. Leave a little fat on them for flavor. Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know how you do when you're eating greens. Go and stop up the gravy now. Don't be acting brand new on me. You know you do that. Here. Take some. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, honey. Honey, funny, this is good. Mm. That meat. It's not dry, but it's good. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's good eating, guys. 
When something was always good, my grandfather would say, girl, that's good eating. <laughs> As he would say, I ain't never lied. Definitely good eating. I need one more bite of this, honey. I need some more gravy on the cornbread. Mmm. That gravy came. It's so. Y'all saw how I seasoned that meat. Then I added a little more seasoning after I added the chicken to the stock. Delicious. Mmm. 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 Look at those noodles. This was a very good, quick, delicious dinner. Final bite. Mm -hmm. Before we read some comments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, the first one, I pinned this comment. <laughs> this is from... Edwin, Edwin Rayner. The dish looks good. Talking about the um, cabbage and corned beef. If you would have cooked the corned beef for at least two hours and then fried the cabbage, cut the corned beef against the grain, it would have been fork tender. Love the recipe. He's right. <laughs> All right. Who is this? Flavors of family love. Okay. Always coming through for me. I appreciate it, y'all. I like the way you cook the corned beef and cabbages. I am going to try this. Just let it cook. Let the corned beef cook a little bit longer, okay? Let it boil for about two and a half hours or put it in the crock pot. But I'm telling you, I was seasoned perfect. It was good. I worked the primary poles all day yesterday, 14 hours. So I didn't celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So I celebrated with you. All right. Your girl, Philly Phil, you always throw down in the kitchen. Making my mouth water. Okay, you know we be cooking in the kitchen over here, baby. Let them know we cooks in the kitchen. Not kitchen, the kitchen. <laughs> oh, another one from Flavors of Family Love. Are you going to have your friend, comedian Michael, Michael Allen, to come and eat with us on the show? Can't wait to see him. You talk about him so much. Yes, don't stop. Uh, keep on keeping on, as they say. He's supposed to come. I think, did I tell y'all that already? Did I already read that one? I feel like I read that one. I don't know. Huh, he's supposed to come, but you know the virus is out, so he's, I don't know, it's been delayed. Uh, Wanny Lee, happy St. Patrick's Day. Never have, never have I ever had that homemade dish before. I shall try that meal. Thanks so much for showing us how it's done. Cook it, just cook it a little longer. <laughs> Denise, say what's on my mind. All right, yes, I fry my cabbage. I don't care for the turnip roots, but I do like turnip greens. You did your thing, and better late than never. I'm watching. Vicki Hughes. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Philly Phil. Cooking in the kitchen. I love corned beef and cabbage. Okay, I'm an honorary Irish gal. My family name is Irish. Okay. Today, Francis. Told me how to pronounce it. Did I say it right? Today, Francis. Girl, yummy, you see me standing at the back door waiting on my plate. Giggles, that looks good. I let St. Patrick's Day slip by me this month, going so fast. Love what you're doing. Keep grinding. Oh, by the way, my name is pronounced today. Sounds like saying today. And yes, that is my real name. Smiles. Okay, today. Thank you for leaving a comment. Keep them coming. Uh, Letitia Lewis. I just... I just boil my corned beef by itself and fry the cabbage by itself, but your way looks delicious. My family is from Pine Bluff. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to say it no more. Y'all know. Look at the pen coming. Just let it cook a little bit longer. Annie Gray. Hey, Finny Phil. Everything looks delicious. Happy St. Patty Day to everyone. Yep. She Radiance. Hey, Finny Phil. The cabbage, corned beef, and turnips looks yummy. Keep cooking in the kitchen. What we doing, y'all? We cooking in the kitchen. What my granddaughter say? ZZ says she's cooking in the kitchen with her granny. B Sugar 100. You keeping it 100. <laughs> hey, Philly Phil. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. I'll take a plate of that, even though I haven't had corned beef in many years. I love a good corned beef sandwich. They have the best down at the Oakland 
uh, club in Hot Springs. You can turn any dish you make to something very appealing to the eyes. And I know it's good because that sauce was the best. She, she ordered my sauce. Our curfew is from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. Have a blessed day. Wow, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Lady C. Queen, that fried corned beef looked good. Love fried cabbage and like the addition of turnips. I love turnips, guys. I do. Hey, Helen. We'll just have, well, just have it your way. <laughs> Looks delicious. I bought cabbage. Of course, you can just season it the way you do it and put it only, put only a tiny amount of water so it'll still be full of flavor and still healthy, well, without some of the grease. Yeah, I need to boil my cabbage one. I'm going to boil it next time and see if I can do it right and not put too much water in it. Maybe I've just been adding too much liquid. Cabbage does make its own water now. Deborah Tuner. Never had corned beef and cabbage, but Miss Philly Phil, I know that you put your foot all up in there. PPG, the Puff Puff gang in the house. They still coming back. Okay, it's tea time. Hello, my name is Tur It's Tressa. My channel is It's Tea Time, and I would love to do a collab with you. Okay, Tressa, we're going to have to make something happen one day. Someone wants to do a collab with your girl, Philly Phil. Okay, I appreciate it. I subscribe to your channel, too. Penny Crewed Up. Good morning, Philly Phil. I like this meal. I have cooked this meal twice in my life so far. I cooked my corned beef in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. I like the way you cooked yours as well. Boil it a little longer. <laughs> when my mom was living, she would make this meal. That's why it's important for kids to read. No, important for kids to be in the kitchen with good cooks. Have a safe, blessed day. Yes, and honey, I was watching my grandpa cook and my mama too. But Gramps, so he used to say, all right, learn how to make this. Denise say, what's on my mind again? Okay. T.Y., for, thank you for reading my comment. I enjoy watching your videos. You're doing an awesome job, sister girl. Keep it up. All right, honey, sister girl, gonna keep doing what she do. Ain't no, hey, you got no other choice but to keep doing it. Okay, I gotta cook for y'all. Uh, perfect imperfection. That cake looks so good. I had to place my order. I can't wait for that cake to touch down in Javier, a.k.a. Duval. I think I've already mailed your cake, too. Tina Parker, Philly Phil, I love you, girl, but corned beef normally take two and a half to three hours to boil. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I know. Oh, I love you, too. Thanks for telling me, honey. It wasn't bad now. It wasn't bad. But I did have to get a knife, huh, y'all? My friend, comedian, uh, comedian Mike Allen, said when he saw me get the knife, he just shook his head. <laughs> As I said, just held his head down. <laughs> uh, who is this? Tawana Pointer. Philly Phil, hello there. You is doing your great cooking. Love cabbage, greens. Be blessed always. Okay. Pearl Otis, yum, that looks delicious. Miss T.I. Eat with Philly Phil. The food looks amazingly delicious. Cook turnips with cabbage. But I must try the combo because it really looks good. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, do we have any more? Uh, Bevy Burgess. That's Debbie from Connecticut. Hi, Miss Philadelphia. Debbie from Connecticut. Just stopping by to show you some love. That look good. The videos. I have been watching you and you're cooking. You put your you put your all into it. Into it. Uh, you should a... What's it say? You put your all into it. It should uh, show a few dollars. No, I should charge a few dollars for a plate of food. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of work making, selling plates. Whew, a lot of work. AJL, I have not had my iPad for a few days. I could not respond. Good to see you. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to EWPPG. Eat with Philly Phil Gang. Rose for you. Okay, Rose. Happy to feel your dish looks so yummy. Check out the most recent video by Darius Cooks. He just cooked corned beef and cabbage. He just cooked corned beef. Be safe. In other words, honey, go check out Darius so you can get it perfectly right next time. I did check it out. Darius, I love Darius. I'm subscribed to all his channels. He is a good cook. I hate all of his restaurants closed, but honey, he can cook his butt off. Uh, Cynthia H. Hey, Philly Phil, Puff Puff Gang here. I've cooked that dish for about 40 years, my mother cooked it for us as little kids. I raised my kids on it. Now they serve it to their kids. 
I cooked it in the crock pot overnight because it, I was a working mom, nine to five. Also, the seeds that came with your brisket is actually your seasoning. It's yummy. Yours looks good and delicious. By the way, it falls apart basically when cooked in the crock pot with cabbage. Yes, your girl didn't cook it in the crock pot. It didn't fall apart. I was cutting it with a knife like it was a piece of steak, how y'all? <laughs> I'm going to get it right next time. Oh, this I'm going to redo this meal. I'm going to redo that uh, corned beef. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm, I got to show y'all that I'm going to get it right. I'm going to redo it. Thank, thank y'all for all the comments. Thank y'all for letting me know what I need to do to make it a little better. I appreciate it, honey. Bring it. Bring it on. You know I don't mind. All right. Is this your first time stopping by my channel? Well, you know what you need to do? Let me take a little sip of this good old lemonade. I need you to like this video, first of all. Now, hit that red subscribe button, that red subscribe button, okay, on YouTube. Now, hit it again and press that bell. Turn on your post notifications. Ring my bell, baby, okay? Ring it. Now, I need you to share this video. Share, 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 okay? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Say it with me. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. You got it? That's all you got to do. When you think of Philly Phil, you think of her videos, say, hey, like, comment, subscribe, and share. That's what we going to do. Okay? <laughs> all right, guys. Thank y'all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed these no yolk noodles and chicken, chicken, and chicken noodles. It was really good. Cornbread was good. Hey, you see, I ate that whole piece over there. Cornbread was excellent. All right, as I always say, you never know where your girl's going to be, what I'll be cooking in the kitchen, who I'll have in the kitchen with me. You just never know. I haven't forgotten about the drawing either. I'm waiting to have a guest over. We're still going to do that. I do have some guests coming. They're coming. But you know, people just, they want to stay home right now, okay? But they are coming. Um, anyway, you never know who I'll have on the show, or what I'll be cooking. But one thing you can always count on. What is that? Say it with me. Say, we're always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. Why? Because we part of the EWPPG. That's right. Eat with Philly Phil Gang, baby. Y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Huh, that was good. I enjoyed my dinner tonight. And I enjoyed hanging out with y'all. I will see y'all soon. Yeah.